Giga Texas is 53% complete, and it's only speeding up from here. I'm Brian. Welcome to My Tesla Weekend. Last week, two great questions came up. The first being why the estimated date of completion has slipped so far. Wasn't it mid-November just a while ago, and now it's early December? Yes, and that's no cause for alarm, and at least at this point, doesn't indicate any particular trend. Think of it like the estimated time remaining when you download a file. It may start by saying 10 days because there just isn't enough information, but as it goes on, it gets dialed in, and even with some blips and slips towards the middle, it balances out in the end. The second question was why the site is taking so long. If Shanghai could enter trial production of their first phase in 10 months, what's the matter with Texas? Well, the short answer is nothing is the matter, and everything is moving very quickly. But there is, of course, a longer answer. Giga Texas originally planned to build the site in three distinct phases three buildings spread out over time, as shown on this site map published by Travis County. Giga Texas began the difficult process of bringing the land back to level and buildable, but in the meantime issued two rounds of stock sales to beef up the war chest. So with 10 billion in fresh cash on hand, they decided to do all three phases at once. So the delay came in three forms listed in increasing importance. Weather. Small delays from torrential rain and the snowstorm likely set the site back by about two weeks. Site remediation. To get the property back to buildable was no small task and likely added about two months over what was possible in Shanghai, where the ground was already clear and level. Scope creep, or in this case, scope runaway. Tripling the size of your project is going to create some delays. While a lot of things can be done in parallel by adding more workers or whole additional contractors and subcontractors, which we've seen in Texas, where even the steel is sourced from different foundries, this is going to add time to the calendar. So let's go over the site elements and what it all means in terms of the progress. And if you're enjoying these insights, hit subscribe or leave a comment below and you'll automatically be entered to win some merch in the monthly giveaway. Site prep. This has been stuck at 95% since the tracker began in December because we're always reasonably confident it's essentially done. This includes all the grading and other work needed below the foundation level, and it will begin to climb as soon as the footings exceed 95% of the total area. Footings. While these always look like they're just about done and the site is going to stop filling in, we keep seeing evidence that it just ain't so. In the northeast corner, they've been sinking geopiers for imminent construction, even though they already had cementitious piers there. The Southwest Prairie has had a lot of work done, with more still underway, and Joe Tetmeyer has it on good authority that the Central Corridor has been surveyed for imminent expansion there as well. I believe this large open space is where the stainless steel for the Cybertruck's shell will be cold rolled, but I'm curious to hear what you guys think will go in this space. Frames. We've seen the biggest jump in this category this week since about mid-February, as the battery plant in the northwest corner is beginning to take shape. For those wondering about the delay in getting started and the unusually thorough delivery and organization of materials before commencement, it's likely that they were waiting for the concrete footings to fully cure, which requires 28 days in ideal conditions, though longer 
in wet and cold conditions, which the site has experienced. With that out of the way, things are, as you can see, moving very quickly. The roof! This is also back into high gear, with most of the previously framed areas now covered, and many of them with their final layers of insulation and weatherproofing. This tracker only assigns half weighting to the roof when it's initially covered, and in hindsight, I probably should have made the second half count when it reaches its apparent point of completion, but I instead chose to count it more slowly along with the interior completion instead. My apologies. We'll see how the prediction works out and adjust future trackers accordingly, but as I've said before, I'm not comfortable changing the methodology this far into it because it would just feel like massaging the numbers. Interior completion. This is the hot button. This is where I've been getting the most complaints that it's being counted too quickly and too slowly. The way it works is, once an area is reasonably closed off from the elements, as in one or more walls and at least 40 feet from an opening to the outside, I count it, and it begins a 17-week march toward completion. The first interior squares were counted on March 1st in the Concrete Stamping Cathedral in the southeast corner, with the rest of that structure counted in the following weeks. This would suggest it will really and truly be done around mid-July. But let me know if you think that's reasonable, or if it's too fast or too slow. And if I get 10 comments telling me to go way deeper into the math and the explanations, I will do it as a Patreon exclusive, but for everyone, not just for people who actually pay, I will do that. I will do that for you guys. You just got to let me know if that's something you want to see. The reason the site is speeding up is because the walled off sections are increasing and those roll along each week without further counting required since we can't see it. So if you add 16 blocks this week, you'll get to count one block in each of the following 16 weeks, plus half a block towards the finished roof, a tiny sliver of the overall site, but these will continue climbing until four months after the final exterior wall goes up. Enough background, let's get to the math and see the latest numbers. Uh, but first, a few seconds to thank my Patreons, who get early access, bonus material, an ad-free experience, and keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. You guys are awesome, and I thank you. So here's the site as it appears today, and let's roll it back to December 14th and go through it week by week. The orange is the footings, the gray is the framing, the dim gray is the roof, and the blue indicates areas where interior work can fairly be counted as having begun. The darker the blue, the more floors in total. The black outlines indicate firewalls or expansion joints, and the heavier black lines are the concrete portions of the structure. All that blue you see is wheels in motion, hidden from the prying eyes in the sky. At the current pace, the site will be completed, for lack of a better word, in a total of 498 days on or about November 30th of this year, though production in some capacity may begin quite a bit before then. The site is made up of 23% single floor, 60% two floors, 12% three floors, and 5% four floor areas. So just counting the framing, as of today, the first floor is 2.5 million square feet, 233,000 square meters. The second floor is 1.5 million square feet, 140,000 square meters. The third floor is 546,000 square feet, 50,000 square meters. And the fourth floor is 225,000 square feet, 
20.8 thousand square meters for a total square footage of 4.7 million square feet or 444,000 square meters. And here's the graph of the weekly progress broken down by element. Next week should be a doozy as we're now picking up about a quarter of a percent of the total site just from unseen interior progress. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me a half dozen ramekins of feed back in the comments and stay tuned, uh, stay juicy, and I can't await to hear from you clever robots before the dust in Texas finally settles.